So today we're going to be reviewing the Afery, Afery Power Station, one of those two. Um, this is the P210, this is a 2400 watt pure sine wave output and it has just at 2 kilowatt hours of storage. And this is a, one of the budget power stations that's out there, it's probably a brand name you, you may not have heard of. And there's a few things about this power station that's a little bit different than other ones. Some things I like, some things I don't. So let's go ahead and go over it. So on the front of the unit, you got your display with your percent state of charge. You've got your output wattage. You'll also display your input wattage if you're charging it up or passing through power. And then you have your estimated time till it shuts down. And then you've got six USB ports on the front and you've got some 12 volt ports. You got your regular uh, port like you'd have in a vehicle. You got a couple smaller ones here. And then there is this 25 amp uh, 12 volt port down here as well. Now the one thing that's different about this power station is it has a light that is on the front. So that could work as like a night light and light up the area in your house when the power's out. I, th I think the light's not a bad idea. Um, now one other thing it has, it has like a SOS signal and then it has like a strobe. Um, I don't know how useful those would be, but I can see that the night light feature uh, to light up a room, that could be handy. So on the top of the unit, you got some built-in carrying handles and there's also this storage compartment, which I don't remember seeing this on other power stations, so it's kind of unique. Um, the unit does come with a uh, solar panel connection cord here and you could probably store that in this compartment, maybe some USB charged flashlights you could fit in there as well. But the compartment is not quite big enough to be able to take the AC charging cord and fit it in here as well. It's just too big and bulky uh, to fit in the compartment. It won't close. Now, I wish that it, you could have fit this cord in here as well, but it is kind of nice to have some type of storage in the unit. So on the uh, left-hand side of the power station, you have this little compartment here, and this is where you can charge it back up. So you've got your AC power cord connection. We'll plug into here. And if you're wanting to do solar panels, then you can plug in the solar panel cord on the other side. So when you charge this up, it can charge with a maximum of 1100 watts from a 120 volt outlet, and it can charge with a maximum of 500 watts through the DC charging port with a maximum of 50 volts DC. So on the right hand side of this power station, there is another door here and underneath it is the six AC outlets. This is probably what you're going to use this uh, mostly for. And I'm just not a big fan of these doors or covers over the outlets. I would be fine if this door was just completely gone uh, where all these outlets were just on the surface where you could see them and easily plug stuff in. And the other thing that's odd about it is it, it is on the side. Um, so more than likely you're going to have the front where you could see it. Um, so it would have been nicer, I think, to have the outlets on the front instead of the side. But that's just my opinion. So I've had this Afri power station for several weeks now and I've ran it through several tests. And one of the tests that I always run is I hook it up to our upright freezer in the basement. I want to see how long one of these will run the freezer. Now in our case, this ran our freezer for a total of 11 hours and 39 minutes. And during that time, I used one of these Emporia smart outlets to monitor the output power that, to the freezer. And these are, Emporia is an energy monitoring company, so these uh, measure the energy fairly accurately. And during that almost 12 hours, it outputted one point 251 kilowatt hours of power, which was 61% of the battery capacity. Now I know a lot of people are like, why did it only output 60%, 61% of the battery? Well, the, the trouble is the time, the length of time. So every hour, this is going to use up so much energy to stay powered up. And then there's also, when you go from DC battery to AC power, there's a conversion loss. So you're not ever going to get the full 2048 watt hours out of this. So I decided to run a second test, a quicker test. And I hooked up a heat gun to this on low and it ran this down in a total of two hours and 56 minutes. And during the heat gun test, which is a resistive load, not an inductive load like what's on the freezer starting a, a compressor, um, it actually outputted 
1.957 kilowatts. So that was 95.6% of the battery. So you can see on that quicker test, it, it almost, you know, 95% of the battery. So um, you, you can see that it does appear to have the full battery capacity. It just kind of depends on maybe what your load is and how long you're powering it. So now I'm gonna test the emergency power supply function. So right now we have AC power going in the power station and then it is passing through and powering the light. Once the power goes out, it should switch to battery. So we should see a blink when I unplug this. Very fast blink, may have not picked it up on camera, but it does switch quickly. So now we're gonna test the 2400 watt output on this. We're gonna see how close we can get. We're at 22, just over 2200 watts. I'm dialing these up a little bit. Well, we're 50 watts below the max right now. It's holding steady. 2445, 20. We are over 2,400 watts. We've been over 2,400 watts for about 30 seconds now. It's still going. A lot of these units will trip out immediately once you cross over the max. This one's still going. So I've been running both these heat guns over 2,400 watts now. It's been over three minutes. No problems. Actually, that's not bad. Most power stations will shut down. As soon as they hit the limit, they shut down almost immediately and we're definitely over the max. So according to the display on the front, it was outputting 2,400 watts for at least four minutes before we stopped the test. So it, it, it does seem to have full output power. Pretty sure it won't start this, nothing ever does. I don't expect the, this to start the air compressor. What I expect to happen is this will overload and we'll see what it does when it shuts down. So I'm trying to get this to fail. There, it finally failed. So the AC power symbol on here is flashing. Of course it was beeping. So I'll turn it off and then back on. Yep, that reset it. So this here's my DeWalt planer, which is a 15 amp tool. Should have a pretty good load to it. Make sure it starts it up. We'll also just make sure that it can start my chop saw up. So after reviewing the AFRI power station, the next day I ended up getting an email from them and they sent me a coupon code. And I think right now the power station is marked for I think $7.99 and the coupon is for $200 off. It's gonna take it down to $5.99 and that's a pretty good price for a power station this size. So if you guys are interested in this power station, I'll leave a link and the coupon code in the description down below. So after running all my tests on the AFRI P210, I only had one test that I would say was questionable and it was the freezer test. So I don't know if I should run that test again and, and do it a second time and see how it performs. But the reason I question that is because it powered up my freezer for less, uh, uh, less period of time. Other power stations with the same size battery were able to power it longer. Now there's a lot of factors in that, you know, how much food's in your freezer, what the temperature of my basement is, um, but it was a difference. And that could be because the, the self-consumption power that, that uses to keep itself powered up, maybe it's a little bit higher. I'm not sure why, but that's the only test that I would say was questionable. Other than that, everything else came out right on par with the way I would expect it to perform uh, against its specs and against other budget power stations, you know, this size. So if you guys are interested in this power station, I will leave a Amazon link in the description down below. And I think that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.